Adam, thanks. The snow is coming down today on Mount Ashland, adding to what is already being described as one of the best years the mountain has had in the past decade. Nice. And now that the Ro most Rogue Valley students are officially on spring break, Mount Ashland officials are hoping you'll spend your vacation on the slopes. NBC5's Natalie Weber went up to the mountain today. She joins us live in studio with more. Natalie. Craig Kristen, it was all powder today. And while the mountain will close next month, officials say you can help add extra days to the season by hitting the slopes now. Nice yeah. to be off of school. North Medford High School sophomore Gabe Lee is normally in the classroom on a Monday, but now he and his brother have the slopes of Mount Ashland practically to themselves. I would expect more people because a lot of people have the days off, especially during spring break. And while it's not what he'd expect, Lee isn't complaining. We're just going to see if we can go up to Ariel. Maybe do a couple jumps, you know, just sort of the usual. Despite the week off of school and the powdery conditions, there's not a lot of people up here. As it turns out, the lack of skiers and snowboarders on the mountain isn't that unusual. During this time of the season, um, numbers do taper off. Mount Ashland General Manager Hiram Toll says even with a slow start to the spring break, the mountain is having their best season in years. Over the last 10 years, this mountain has not uh, performed to, to this level, and a lot of it, of course, has to do with the snow. I've always wanted to come up here, especially during spring break, because usually the mountain's closed by now, but, you know, it's still up and running, snowy. Officials say you can help keep the mountain open longer just this year just by going. They're staying on their regular schedule this week, closed tomorrow and Wednesday, but they'll be back open and ready for spring breakers early at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning. Live in studio, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News.